Hey guys, we're here today and I haven't really made a YouTube video in a long time. But we're out here hunting Cubensis. See, I found a couple already. That's what you want to look for. See, if you paint them, they should bleed a light green to blue. This one's just now starting to turn. Found those back that way. <clears throat> what you kind of want to do to find them is you want the weather to be between 68 and 72, 74 around that area and that's that's really perfect for them it's perfect weather weather conditions make sure your humi humidity is really high you see anything like this do not pick it and definitely do not eat it if you can't identify it then Throw it back. Kind of got to make sure nobody sees you while you're in here. I'm right beside a road. <clears throat> Wait for this car to go by. I actually think that was the farmer. Ah, uh, look at that, right there, beautiful. And this one was hiding from me. When you pick them, you kind of pick them at the bottom. So you always want to make sure there ain't, that your mushroom isn't Hasn't been messed with by parasites. This one looks like some bugs got on it because it was over here. But yeah. Let's see, we got another one right over here. Oh, actually, it's two. When you find them, they just start, you have to look really hard. You got to make sure you're looking in every spot like this. Looks like it then got ate up by bugs. You don't really find one. Commonly, you don't find them eaten up by any bugs. This one right here, perfect. It's a good example of what we want. But you always want to pick the shit end off that has shit on it. So we're going to take a look. Here, you always want to scope out the tree lines. First, it's not looking like nothing's exactly right here, but when you get out, you just gotta, when you find them the first time, you know what you find, then you're good. And I'll get back to y'all when I find another one. All right, we didn't find nothing else. Really in this area, except for oh, this one. Uh, I think these are Paniolus kinescens, but I cannot exactly identify them, so I'm gonna put them back and I'm definitely not gonna eat them. And guys, when you're doing this, see, the farmer's house in this yard is just about right over here so when i gotta get so when i come this way i have to start kind of ducking but the number one thing is to never try to not ever be spotted because if you're spotted and the farmer finds out somebody's been going out here in their field 
then they could possibly set up some kind of shit to catch you. Call the police or whatever. But this hadn't happened for me yet. But do be cautious. We'll get back to you guys when we get over back that way. He's right here. Pretty sure that these are the ones too, but you're not gonna wanna pick anything other than what I've picked, what I've showed you that I picked. And they should, your mushrooms should always bleed from a light green to a, a blue. And look, we got two little babies right here. Uh, I didn't get really too many today, but I'm really glad that I got those two big ones earlier. scan this whole field yet really I've only scanned about from right there where I come in and I scan a little bit right here somebody else down here but that's where I just came from so I didn't really look much right here up here but I did find a couple the fat one right here. Let me go ahead and pick it. Damn. I don't even think the skirts came off yet. It's a good pick right there. 